Whose bright idea was this then? I don't know. They just said, well, you could never get a piano to Zanskar. That's what she said. <laughs> I've been moving pianos around for 50 years. I've seen a few things, but this is a bit um, insane. Some of the most amazing things that have happened in my life started with someone just walking into the workshop. And when we were told about this school that needed a piano, I thought to myself, I will get you a piano to the Himalayas. I will get you a piano to Zanskar. We're amongst very special people here. And I'm worried that I'm putting them at too much risk. They think everything that comes from the West is good. I am afraid that they lose their spirituality. You realize how big the world is and how small your own experience of it is. You have come with a traditional musical instrument. I would say it is a kind of cultural exchange because everybody in the world can understand the language of music. Good times we Good time. You had an adventure. <laughs> oh, sometimes the bad times, those times weren't so bad. Let's live through this night.